I heard him growl a bit. Hey, how you doing there, Tony the Tiger? No, 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 no. Run, run. If I, I'm gonna... Can I actually outrun the tiger? Oh, no, it's actually hitting me. Nope, 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 nope. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Keep running. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, run away. Give up. Good. I, I like the fact that you're a quitter. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Falcon Plays Out of Reach. And if you're wondering what Out of Reach is, just take a look around you. You probably already figured it out. It is an MMO survival type of game, much like the kin of, you know, Ark Survival Evolved, which just came out a while ago. Rust. Your seven days to die, etc., etc. You know, you've played one. You've probably played them all. However, um, what I like about Out of Reach, it is a... It's not a game that really, um... Messes around too much with like crazy stuff like monsters and mutants and dinosaurs. This is actually a game where you are a castaway. Everything in the island here is actual nature. You're gonna have animals. I think that's a gazelle that are roaming around. Tigers, rhinos, etc., etc. Basically, Mother Nature is the enemy over here. And it's up to you to kind of survive. As you can see here, I was uh, playing some of this last night, trying to get used to the game before I started recording here today. So I got a little bit carried away and I started making my house over here. So I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a tour. We could probably put a torch here if I wanted to, but I think for now we're fine. Will this torch go out eventually? I have to imagine it probably would. Night gets really dark in this game, so you kind of really do need these torches. You know, you need this um, fire pit over here to kind of cook your food, etc., etc. Speaking of food, how are we looking over here? Pretty good. Let's um, go into the character screen. Inventory is right here. I've made a backpack already so I can carry a bit more. Character, I am a... Uh, I look like a weird dude. Don't I look like Nico Bellic? Let me move around here. Look at this. He looks like a castaway Nico Bellic. From Grand Theft Auto 4, it's kind of weird. I made myself some pants. What else can I make myself over here asking? Well, let's find out. Crafting. I've been trying to craft some clothing and some defensive items here, but, it, you know, it's been kind of going kind of slow because I have to hunt these animals down for hide and things like that. I already have the leather pants. I can make the shoes now, I guess. You know what? Let's make some shoes. I'm tired of running around here barefoot. Probably not good for my feet as well. So let's actually craft some shoes over here. What do you know? No space left in the inventory. I beg to differ, game. Actually, it's probably right. I have a lot of items over here. What I should do is actually, let's cook some meat. Show you some of the cooking basics over here. Roasted meat. I've been, you know, hunting down a bunch of these, um, gazelles, deers, whatever you want to call them. Even some tigers. I got a little bit ballsy and started hunting tigers, and that was actually kind of scary. I'll show you the tigers pretty soon. For now, let's we'll actually go ahead and just uh, make some roasted meat over here for ourselves. We made some perfect. Let's see here. We're still kind of a little bit low. What the hell is this? Oh, that's thin. That's tin. Yeah, I found like a, a tin reserve up on that mountain, I was kind of surprised, because all I've been running into right now is actually just wood and trees, which... Wood and trees! Ah, uh, same thing, Falcon. Uh, <laughs> trees and rocks. Regular stone. But I really do want to make those shoes, so maybe now I can make them. Let's find out. Get out of here. Where's my crafting menu? Let's try this one more time. No space left in the inventory. God damn it. Alrighty, here's what we do. Shoes, there you go. I'm going to equip them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. There you go. Not really the fanciest looking shoes out there, but it'll do. Put this in my feed. There you go. <laughs> what did that do for a defense, by the way, out of curiosity? That is going to put us up to... Up to... Oh, a little bit of defense. Is that just one? Yeah, it's just one extra point of defense. That's fine. I'll take it. Alrighty, so... A little bit more defense. We have a spear over here so we can get into some melee combat, but usually with the tigers, I like to snipe them because it's a little bit more safer. Alrighty, so I've talked not enough about that stuff right here. Let me show you some of the skills here. Here is our building mechanism. We could um, scroll through these here really quickly. Building panel 204. Let's see, 104, you have the foundation, wooden poles, wooden walls, w windows, etc. That's what I've been kind of building over here. If we skip over to the next one, we have some ladders. I do have a ladder to go up to the roof because I kind of want to have a nice sight as to what's happening in the area. And we have some stairs as well if you want to make like a two-story house. Right now, I wanted to start kind of simple, just make like a one-story area just so I can get used to have a bed in there. We have some straw roof. Wooden torch holders, which are the ones holding our torches. We have a chest. We could actually store some items. You know what? That chest might not be a bad idea right now. Let's see about it building that one. So we'll do wooden chest. Where do I want you at? Hey, let's get into my house. <laughs> Don't mind the fact that there's no wall still. It's a work in progress, I assure you. Um, I like you back here. That seems like a pretty good spot for you. So bam, there you go. Let's take this off. And let's see about storing some items here because I am a little bit... Overburden, so I don't think I need to carry all this raw meat with me right now, so I could just kind of place most of this here. I'll cook you later. Hopefully you don't, um, you know, expire or go rotten. For now, though, let's make the furnace, I guess. Seems relatively easy to make, so we're looking for five, right? I'm going to put this indoors, so if I'm going to have my sleeping quarters right here, I'll probably place a wall to kind of cover this up, and the back over here would be my working area. So let's just place you over here. That seems to work pretty good. 
And let's find out what this does. Let me use you. Put wood in the furnace first. Um, okay. Ten wood. Go ahead and do it. I have enough wood. <laughs> that's what she said. Actually, she shouldn't say that unless she's a trap, but that's besides the point. Let's see about this. Oh. Oh. Now, are you going to cause a fire in my house? I mean, it is a wooden house, so I'm a little bit worried about this. You going to be fine? I hope so. So how does this work? Okay, so I turn you on. Can I upgrade you? Not yet, apparently. And then, if I have bronze, I can make some cool stuff here. Like a steel shield. Which requires steel. And that makes sense. It's called the steel shield. Um, right now, the game is about to come out on Steam. It's not out as of today's recording. This video will be coming up on Tuesday. I'm recording on Monday. It was supposed to be released to the public today, but apparently it still hasn't, so I'm not sure when that's going to happen. But it's sooner or some point or another. It is a multiplayer game, so we're going to have some other people running around here and griefing me more than likely. So we'll keep an eye out for that whenever it does happen. For now, though, we've done some stuff in there. Let's come out here and show you some of the basics in terms of... Um, you know, breaking stuff down, etc., etc. Um, for the purpose of um, this series, I am going to be doing a little bit of cutting in terms of when I'm over here, like, you know, gathering a bunch of supplies. I don't think you guys want me to, to sit here and watch me chop down trees for, like, you know, 10 minutes or something. So, on occasion, I will be doing some cutoffs over here. Right now, I'm collecting some flax fiber, which is pretty good because you actually use this to make rope, to make your bows, to make um, other weapons, etc., etc. You guys might want to see some of the hunting feature. It's kind of a little bit weird. I think it's because right now all I have are... Um... Oh, no, no, don't shoot it. No, I shot it. Right now, I think I only have wooden arrows, so they're not exactly, like, the best hunting item out there. So what happens on occasion is if you actually hit these gazelles or whatever the hell might, they might be, with the arrow, it might just ricochet off of them. But let's try it out. No, no, don't run off. Hey, 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 hey. Look, bro, I'm trying to hunt you over here. One second. So let's see here. Okay, I got him. Whenever they run, it means you landed a hit. Sometimes you're you're dead sure you hit you landed a hit, but then they don't move, and it seems like the arrow just ricochets off of them. Excuse me, sir. I need to land three of you or three arrows in you so you die. I want to show the people how to hunt you. So let's see. Upwards. Ha! -ha good shot. So the the arrow itself has a little bit of a radius as you can see. Or not a radius, but uh. I guess like a, a path that it actually follows, like if I just shot it right here from right this point, it's just going to go and land short. You kind of have to shoot a little bit higher to make it actually traverse, and oh, that one missed. A little bit too high. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me... Oh, I thought I hit you on the go. I just need one more arrow in you, my friend. Hold up. Hold up. No, don't, don't try to live. Alrighty, I'm fucking Tom Hanks. You don't live. You don't live in my movie. I assure you, Falcon knows how to shoot. Okay, that was maybe a little bit too... He's in a higher plane now, so maybe... There you go! Ha <laughs> ha! Alrighty, don't tell me I'm not gonna kill you, motherfucker. Let's come over here. Now that you have this body over here, you want to switch over to your scavenging tool. I made an axe just to scavenge purposes. You could also use, like, a chipped block or a, a chipped rock, but this actually works a little bit better. It gives you more supplies as well. Let's crouch down here. Got some fat. Got some hide. Some meat. Right now what I'm looking for is some hide. Right now what I'm looking for is either bones or... Um, hide. Hide to make some equipment and bones to make a, a sweet skull mask that apparently I can make over here. So that was one of the gazelles over there just showing you off some of the hunting. I'm going to show you some of the tigers too. Usually the tigers hang out somewhere over here and like it's like a clan of them too. It kind of worries me because I feel like I'm a little bit too close to them. So on occasion I try to just land some shots and run away because I need to thin them out. Otherwise I'd figure they're going to repopulate and come out here and just be like, Hey, what are you doing? How are you, Tom Hanks? And be like, dude, I'm just over here trying to live. And they'll be like, no, nah, you don't live in our world. And then just, you know, gang up on me in like some sort of weird tiger mob scene or something. Alright, you probably saw one over here to the left. I'm going to keep running over here. How's our frames looking? They're pretty good. Running at 60. By the way, the game runs actually pretty amazing. I'm running it in the highest settings. Obviously, it's not the most graphically intensive game out there. It's not fucking Crisis 4. But, it, uh, it, it works out for what it does pretty good. Um, the the pop-in isn't too bad as well. I've actually increased the, um, the um, distance. So, um, you know, it, it's it's alright. Uh, the graphics are nothing to write home about, but they get them through, and more importantly, it runs perfectly fine, and that's what really matters with these games. Sometimes these games come out early, much like this is an early access game, and they run like shit. This actually runs pretty well, so I can't really complain. Alright, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna try to kill this tiger. And it's gonna take me a while, guys. It takes five arrows to kill the tigers, if I remember correctly, but they actually give you a lot more uh, bones and hide than the gazelles do. This guy moved away right now, which is a problem, because now I can't fucking see him. He's gonna try to stagger me or something. I s- Uh, oh, 
he might have spotted me. I heard him growl a bit. Hey, how you doing there, Tony the Tiger? No, 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 no. Run, run. If I, I'm gonna... Can I actually outrun the tiger? Oh, no, it's actually hitting me. Nope, 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 nope. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Keep running. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, run away. Give up. Good. I, I like the fact that you're a quitter. He actually did attack me, though. He did attack me. Um, this is the way to kill him early on. I, I have a shield. I have a, a, a spear. But I'm so scared of actually fighting him legitly. So, I just hang out from afar. I take five shots and I run away each time. Hey, he spotted me again. One second. Let me see if I can get him in the face. Get you in the... Oh! oh I'm not sure if I hit him. I, I want to say that he res he ran right into the arrow. I keep running. Ah, yeah. Um, yeah, they do follow like a path of, um, they have like a certain path that they won't leave, so you can kind of cheese it a little bit early on. I, I want to get to the point where I actually just melee these dudes, but uh, I'll just have some of this meat here. Okay, healed me up a little bit. That's what happens in life. You know, you get injured, uh, a tiger attacks you, and the way you heal your injuries by eating a piece of meat. It makes sense to me. It makes sense in my world. Does it not make sense in your world? It should. Oh, good God. I'm enjoying these shots suddenly. Just call me, um... Oh, good, good. Call me, run away. There's a kitty behind me. And he attacked me, but I'm, I'm okay still. Now, if you die, you're probably wondering what happens. Well, you drop all your items in the spot. I don't think you lose any of your skills. There is a skill leveling system in this game, which I haven't shown off yet. I'll try to show this off after I'm done with this tiger here. Let's see about this one. Oh, he brought this tiger down. Alrighty, one tiger down. The only problem is I need to harvest them, but with his friend over here, it makes it a little bit difficult to do so. Oh my god, this guy too. I'm on a hot streak right now, man. Yeah, sure, I miss on occasion, but come on. There goes tiger. Alrighty, you guys want to try this? Uh, I'll land one more arrow and then we go spear mode. How about that? If I die, I'm blaming you guys for this, because I'm only going to spear mode just for you guys. Otherwise, I have no problem just... Oh, see, you saw how... I'm not sure if you could see that because of YouTube's compression of the videos, but there was a little bit of a... Like, the... The arrow's pad, it looked like it hit him, but it didn't just ricochet off him completely. So, that's because I have wooden arrows. I'm pretty sure um, there is upgrades to the arrows. There's the bone tip, there's the steel tip, etc, etc. With those, they will cause more damage, I have to imagine. Where did the tiger go? There he is. So, um, the wooden arrows do have a chance of sometimes missing... Not missing, but um, they won't actually pierce through the skin, I have to imagine. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to heal up completely, and we'll give this one more go with the spear. So let's heal up completely here. Tiger's moving back, that's good. Alrighty, let's go ahead. We'll go spear, and we will go shield here. <laughs> I'm not sure how well a shield's going to work against a tiger, but we'll find out. But shield up, and attack. Can I charge my attack? Kind of. I could throw this if I'm right too, right? Or am I thinking this correct incorrectly here? No, I guess I can't. Alright, one second here. Alrighty, Tiger? This is it. People on YouTube wanted me to kill you probably with a spear stab. So, you come at me, I'll spear you in the face right now. You're just fucking me up. I'm dead. I'm still dead. Ah! No! I blame you guys for this. So that's, um, out of reach. We'll come back next episode. I need to come back and pick my shit up. There's also a dead tiger there, which you need to, like, you know, pillage. Come on, man! That's horseshit! How did you miss that many times? I was right in front of him! Alright, guys. I'll catch you guys for episode number two. I'll come back over here and pick this shit up. Um, nope! Tiger, stop moving my body around. I'm gonna wake up in bed. So, um, before we cut off, how about we find out if I still have my skills here. Sometimes you do lose some items, especially equipment that you have on when you die. I hope that's not the case. I hope it's still there. Because I already had built that um, skull mask before, but then I died against a tiger trying to do what I just did right now, melee him, and I wasn't back. So, we have the stone, which is fine. That's the starting one. Yeah, we have nothing on ourselves. I guess I'll go over there and find out. So, I'll catch you guys next episode.